We're sisters, sisters and, and together, together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and, and we, we love food and chocolate and red wine. Halloween is coming, so I'm making a scary soup. I find my children need a little bit more persuading when it comes to eating vegetables. The ingredients are very simple. It is a butternut squash, an onion, some diluted chicken stock, and some sage. That's all for the soup. And then to make it scary, I'm going to make some pumpernickel croutons, and I'm going to try and make a ghost out of some creme fraiche and some poppy seeds. Loving it. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Slightly nerve-wracking. I'm not a crafty person, I have to say. <laughs> so I'm going to peel and cut the squash. Could you do the onion, please? Yes, of course. Peeling and cutting a butternut squash is quite labour-intensive. Obviously worth it. And I could use pumpkin, but actually I haven't seen many pumpkins around this year. And butternut squash is in season at the same time, so I thought I would just go with it. So this is the easy bit where you just put it all in the pan and wait for it to get ready. You need a healthy glug of olive oil. Enough? More? More? Lovely. Thank Funny. you. The glug is so subjective, isn't it? <laughs> right, that's sizzling there. Yes, yeah. so stick it all oh, in. It goes in. Perfect. Two sage leaves. So once the butternut squash and the onion is in, we just wait for 10 minutes before I put the stock in. But I'll keep checking it just to make sure that nothing catches and give it a quick stir. Uh, so while that is cooking, I will put the oven on, 180 degrees, and this is to make the pumpernickel croutons, which will be the uh, jack-o'-lantern's eyes. So this is pumpernickel. It comes ready sliced. It's very easy. We get it from our local corner shop. Um, I am going to turn it into croutons, which sounds much more complicated than it is. So I am going to cut it into lots of different sized triangles. And the idea of that is that you can then just make whatever face you like on your soup, or you can get your children to do it. So I've got some eyes here. Great. I've got some weird fangs. This is going to be a very snaggle-toothed uh, jack-o'-lantern. Obviously, if you're making soup faces for lots of kids, do loads more croutons. I'm just going to make enough for one or two. And then that goes in the oven for 10 minutes on 180. Brilliant. There, there we go. Know. That's my cue. So you see it's just a little bit rough around the edges. This is chicken stock and it's diluted twice as much as you would normally do. And you just need enough to cover the veg. And you could use vegetable stock if you're vegetarian. Yeah. And then you want to bring that up to the boil and then simmer it for about 15-20 minutes. Basically just until the squash is soft. Put a lid on it and do a bit more waiting. Are we ready? This is pretty exciting. Ta-da! <laughs> Gosh, they look so different. They look so different. They're transformed by their Gosh, time in the oven. You can master tell. Baker for nothing. <laughs> they're certainly slightly drier. They're nice and, on soup. They're yes, kind of crispy tasty. and uh, yeah, you're going for texture. Gorgeous. You're going for crunch. We're using this blender. It's because my, my handheld one broke, but you'd normally use a handheld one. Uh, yeah, you? I always use a handheld one because there's less washing up and it just feels a bit kind of safer. Easier. Ooh, it smells gorgeous. Well, we had this last night and it was mm. so sweet. Oh. That's lovely, yeah. thanks. That should be done. Lovely. Now I'm going to make my scary soup look a little bit like a jack-o'-lantern. You could do this yourself, or you could get your artistic children to go crazy. I'm going to put an eye like that, and Gorgeous. then I'm going to put another eye like that. And then I'm going to do some little snaggly teeth Perfect. in a smile. There we go. Brilliant. It's a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, I love it. That's so clever. You are a genius. Can I get the creme fraiche? Yeah. Number two is a ghost. It involves a blob of creme fraiche and making it look a bit spooky. So how do you do it? Well, the way that I have found to do it, after hours of trial and error, is to make a cross. So I start with a head and I tear away ah, like that. Cool. For those spooky arms. I'm not sure if there we go. And then, if you think that just looks like a blob, you would be right. 
my secret weapon is a cocktail stick and I just do that and trail it into the soup and then for eyes I have two three poppy seeds do you think you could have a clove for a mouth or would that ruin it? yeah that would be yeah. great actually although I wouldn't want to eat it it's very difficult to get your eyes even you might have a sort of slightly boss-eyed ghost <laughs> makes it more spooky though oh I love it it's so cute <laughs> it's like the scream in your soup that is genius she's so clever so proud that she's my sister. <laughs> Turner Prize. This is gonna bring tears to my mother's the eyes. The first edible Turner Prize. Honestly, <laughs> I think that's the best thing you've ever cooked. <laughs> Ta da! Oh, that's really good. And the creme fraiche is so sour, it just sets off the sweetness of the soup beautifully. Yeah. And I do love a spot mm. of pumpernickel. This is such a clever idea. I'm totally gonna do it for Halloween. Even though my kids won't eat orange soup. <laughs> So that was our spooky soup, but we want to know what you did with yours. Was your jack-o'-lantern more ferocious than Claire's? Was your ghost more ghostly? Perhaps you did something really different. Uh, we'd love to hear about it. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Um, tweet us. Comment. Subscribe! We're sisters, and together we're crumbs. We both like cooking, and we love food and chocolate and red wine. <laughs>